Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today I'm looking at this Dino Valley copter plane, I guess. Uh, I bought this obviously loose and secondhand. It's missing something from the bottom. I'm guessing that's the landing gear or something. But it's pretty cool and I paid about three quid for it, including postage, I think, or £3.50. So pretty damn cool. Looks really quite nice. It does cover a couple of bits that do fit onto the side. So we've got this part here which I'm guessing will go this side or the other side. I won't push it on. And then this one, again, will go, I'm assuming, actually, this will go this side, I guess, with that at the bottom. And then this one will go this side, like that. I can use them. I think it looks pretty cool. And obviously, it's had some sort of rocket that went in the front, and there was a one-time working rocket launcher. So features, the cockpit does open. We can see inside, it's a bit dirty, but does have a seat and some controls on the side there. There is a footwell, so hopefully figures can fit in. Uh, the wing parts do articulate down to here. But, you know, if it's like that, it's going to be a balancing on them to the flat where they just were, and then also to the top. You can spin the uh, rotor blades. Really nice movement on that, so great job, chat me. Very, very cool. And that's pretty much it. It's hollow here, which is a shame. Um, if we look inside the top here, there is some space. So you could, in theory, cut a... Sp yeah, but that's his joint here. I'm trying to think if you could actually make a door here. Having these joined at the top onto these parts makes it difficult. But you could, in theory, put cut out and put a little door there and have some sort of storage space. Because only a one-person vehicle. I don't think you could fit another one in the back there. Okay, speaking of people, uh, open the cockpit. I have pre-posed my uh, custom Cult of San Raja figure. That looks like he'll fit. He's going to do himself a mischief with his blade arm. Legs might need to come a bit closer, maybe. Okay, does he fit? Oh, he does. Very nice. He fits in really quite cool, to be honest. That is a nice looking vehicle with a great fit on the uh, figure. Now, you've seen, or you should have noticed already, that with the canopy here, it is all holes. But what I have done is I've kept the uh, plastic from the, uh, the, who was it, the Arthur figure from Merlin, who I reviewed recently, and I'll use that plastic to make the windows, but I won't do that until after I've stripped off all the uh, stickers, I've soap, soaked and cleaned it and sprayed it another colour or colours, then that can just go on there nicely. And you can make the windows from there and that look much better again. Uh, in terms of screws, okay, just from the bottom. So yeah, it's half and half like this. Uh, six screws, quite deep in, look to be the same size. I've got small screwdrivers. You could take that apart. And you could, um, for painting, this would just be a snap-on, snap-off. Don't break, please. There we go. So you want to cut out the sides and try and put a door in there. How would you do that? Would you just do this part here? Because it look a bit strange of that part. Or would you come across like that? But that looks strange. That part will look strange. I would be tempted to follow that little line here. You know, cut that out there. But that's difficult with this part here again. No, you just go from the bottom part there because already that's not joined because it's a um a seam that I think it does pin in there somehow. I think that the screw inside. Yeah, I'll be tempted to do that and then make a little hinge here and boop boop have a little opening compartment now. I'll consider if I want to do that or not bit of work involved in that make it look tidy it is a nice vehicle if you i mean if you're going to get the uh complete one with a dino valley set i'm not sure it would be worth it unless you want the dinosaurs and the other stuff and the chat may figure but if you can find this loose by itself this is fantastic i mean obviously i'm missing a part there but i could make something for that as well and maybe i'm missing something on the back as well there was that electrics maybe that went in there i don't know but that is a really nice vehicle. I'm glad I picked it up and it wasn't expensive either. Great little find. I am very 
happy with that. Okay, this is uh, Awesome Ash Toys signing out, saying please consider joining our Patreon, link in the top right of your screen now. I'll be back with more awesome Ash Toy videos for you guys to enjoy very soon. Please check out the rest of my content, there's over a thousand videos for you guys to uh, look at. And please subscribe to this channel and smash that notification bell icon so you don't miss a video when I publish them. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.